copy and paste that. <laughs> control C, Control V. He called. Every time I order a cheeseburger, I make it a double so that a vegan out there in the world isn't actually making a difference. <laughs> Sensational. Sensational. Step on the scale. Oh, absolutely. You said height matters. Height does matter, but what's So that step do? on the scale. No, what does that have to do with weight? Because if you weigh past 150, you do not have the right to say height matters. So step on the scale. I'm not going on a scale for this camera. You said height matters. I will matter. say height matters. We don't care. How much does a man have to make to date you? How much does he have to what? Make to date you. How much does he have to make? I mean, first of all, he gotta be rich as fuck like Elon Musk. Like, like how much? Like Elon Musk. You think a guy who's rich like Elon Musk is going for you though? Elon Musk would eat this pussy all night. You know, 80 years old or eight years old, he wanna eat this pussy. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. <laughs> you shouldn't argue with women because at the end of the day their perception of the world is based on their feelings they don't see facts they see good bad fair unfair what should and what shouldn't be you tell a woman two plus two is four and she don't like you or four you just became a bigot a homophobic transphobic you hate your mom they don't argue to understand they want you to know how they feel and they want you to validate how they feel anytime you listen to a woman talk you tell them something the first thing that come out of their mouth that's mean that's rude that's not fair who cares if it's mean rude or unfair it's a fact facts it's facts these are not facts these are not facts that man did not end things with you or ghost you because he's too intimidated by you. Stop convincing yourself of that. Stop letting your friends convince you of that. People used to say that to me, so I used to say it all the time when things didn't work out with a guy. I've been pretty successful from, from a pretty young age, and one of the things about me at that time was that like I made it my whole personality trait. Like, didn't mean anybody for anything. Work like came first. I just I was a little more on the like argumentative, like highly opinionated, which I am a highly opinionated person, but like it was just a different way. And people used to say that to me, oh, they're just so intimidated by you. And I ate that shit up until finally it came to my senses and matured. And I was like, well, I'm not dating insecure men. So I don't think that the men I date who are like successful have their shit together, you know, pretty confident are ending it with me because they're like, they're, they're intimidated, they think I'm too good for them. I just don't think that that's necessarily true. It's really not rocket science. If men were into masculine traits in their mate, they would just date men, wouldn't they? Let's just remove relationships from this equation here. Why does anybody want to be around a contrarian, argumentative person constantly? Because that's what's going to happen when you're in a relationship and you move in, etc. You're going to be around each other all the time. Who wants to be around a contrarian, argumentative person that frequently? Why do women keep using this word that men are intimidated? I don't know a single man that says they're intimidated because a woman owns a home. Are you guys intimidated when you meet a woman who's a functioning adult, has a place to live, whether she rents or she's bought her own home? Do you think to yourself, I am so intimidated that this woman bought a home. I can't possibly date her. It does not make you more desirable because you are accomplished and have a home. They're achieving a lot, making a lot of money but then complain that they have to date down because men aren't keeping up when they're excited that men can't keep up. You see how it's oxymoronic? Like it makes no sense. When they talk about women having more college enrollment, yeah, because universities are hostile to men. Everything's labeled as misogynist or the patriarchy. And then also men are realizing going into debt, thousands of dollars of debt to get a college degree, it's not worth it for them. When they can go out and start making money in other arenas that don't require a college degree.
It's an evil world we live in. What do you think the secret to not being stressed is? Not having kids. <laughs> oh, wow. We got women out here can't find a man because they acting like him. Mm. You are alpha. Now the alphas all want these subservient husbands. You can't have one. No. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. If you're in a big argument with your girl, call her by your mother's name. Be a man. <laughs> As somebody that makes 100K a year, do you think that that makes dating easier or harder for you? I think it makes it harder. Why does it make it harder? Because not everyone makes that much money. And it kind of makes you look down on people if they don't make as much? Well, it like raises a bar. So it raises your standards? A little bit. Okay. But I mean, it's not the end all be all. So like if you make 80 bands, then okay. But like if you make 40, okay. 40K? 40K is a deal breaker. That's a deal. That's like, oh, absolutely not. No way. Under no circumstance. No. no. What if that was the only person who you connected with, though? It's a deal breaker. Still a deal breaker. I can't live on 40k. You but you're making 100k. So if he's bringing 40. Like, raise a family on 40. Well, could well, you on? I've been living on 100 myself. Could you on 140? Yeah. So he bring the 40k. But I can't live on 40. But you have 100. So you and him together would I be 140. If I'm on, if I'm on, like, if I'm on maternity leave, I don't have a hundred bands. Okay, I see what you're saying. Guys, here's more evidence for you. Now we all know that women are hypergamous in nature. So if she earns 100k a year, she'll only date a man who earns 150 to 200k a year. So even though she meets a guy who earns 40k a year, she's passionate about him, they have chemistry, and that guy is her type. She won't take him seriously. This is because women only date across and up. They don't date down. I don't make the rules, I just report them. We can't say women anymore, we've got to say bodies with vaginas. You can't say hip hip hooray anymore because it could offend people with a hip injury. You can't have an admissions office at some universities now. You have to call it Office of Enrollment Management because if you say admissions office, that suggests somebody's going to be rejected. You can't now say rapist or murder. You have to say justice involved person. So you weren't raped, you were involved with a justice involved person. It's pretty widespread in universities and Fortune 500 corporations. Well, you know, who is it that's pushing this? Well, I'm telling you who's pushing it. It's virtue signaling corporations and universities. I'm a wife. Of course, whatever I say goes. I'm a husband. When I decide... To I'm a wife. Whenever I'm hungry, you're hungry. I'm a husband. Of course... I'm a wife. When I put down my phone, you put down your phone. I'm a husband. Do a sip! I saw this really cute guy at the grocery store the other day, so naturally I followed him to the checkout counter, and when he gave the cashier his credit card, I peeped it to see what his name was. And then I Googled him and found his social media profiles, and I was able to tell that he was single. So I went through his friends list and I found his mother's page. And then I looked through his mother's page and I saw that she was a member of this book club that's in my area. So I sent a request to join the book club. So I went to the book club meeting and I met his mom there and we bonded over some books that we both liked. And she just thought I was so nice. And I brought it up randomly in conversation that I was single. And she let me know that she had a son that was single also that lived in the area and maybe it would be cool for us to get together and chat sometime so i gave her my number which she gave to her son and this morning he texted me and asked if i'd like to get together this weekend and do something so i guess we're gonna go on a date i'm really excited flip the genders and there's only one place this man is going you're going to jail you're, you're going, going to jail, jail.